Hello, beautiful. Welcome to my channel. I feel evil in this look today. You know, I just feel like I'm gonna like just turn into a like. I feel like I'm little, 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 little. I don't know what I was gonna say. How are we today? You look stunning. Thank you for being here today. We're watching some people dye their hair using a frosting cap. That's the thing that you pull the hair through and then you slap on some lightener and you end up with stripey, awful highlights typically. But sometimes, I mean sometimes, it comes out decently well and people can sometimes make it work. And how? It's still a mystery to me, but we're gonna find out today. Let's see if any of these people today doing a cap highlight can actually do it well. I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. <laughs> As usual, let's watch these videos. Let's do it. Okay, what am I doing? Um, I'm reacting to videos. <laughs> That's my job. Up first, we have a video by Angie, and this is called DIY Cap Highlights, AKA ruining my hair. Rad Mondo, help, it's my goal today is to help you. I'm trying to transition to a blonde somehow and I'm taking it little by little. So the bottom part is ombre. It's like dark blonde to brunette. I'm into her color right now. It looks cute. I love the transition from the really dark root to the lighter blonde ends. It looks really smooth, really seamless. It looks quite nice. And I'm excited to see how blonde she can get herself today without ruining her hair. She did say in the title that, that she ruined her hair. So I don't know if that's exactly gonna happen. I think we both know that she's gonna ruin her hair somehow. I'm going to be trying cap highlights. That's the goal? I don't think you're gonna get there with a cap highlight. Those are like baby lights with foils and a root shadow. And the cap is gonna give you streaky and it's gonna look wacky. So I'm gonna get my hair out with this thing from the holes. Let me just tell you something about caps. They are so uncomfortable. They're hot. You have to pick your hair out from your scalp with a little tiny crochet needle. It hurts. It takes so long and the results are sh and that's why I don't do them. I don't think it looks perfect. No. But at that stage, you know, I'm like effing it. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna finish it. It's pretty late at night. I'm gonna be mixing one part powder. I'm glad she's using bleach and not color because color doesn't look color and it seems like she has a lot of color on her hair currently. So that's good. I've seen a lot of people do these cap highlights and then try to use box dye over their already colored hair. It doesn't work like that, guys. It doesn't work like that. Okay, so we're going in with the lightener and her hair is quite quite thick. She has a lot of hair coming out of that cap. This is just not a very precise way of applying lightener. That's a lot of hair to just apply lightener to all at once. So that scares me. So I feel like she's going to get spotting or something. You also have another thing to worry about with cap highlighting, which is bleeding through the cap. If you put lightener directly on top of the cap and basically push it down, smush it in, it's going to end up on your roots and you're going to get like zebra stripes going on. And then on top of it, think about this. How does she know where the hair is coming from? Of course, there's holes in the cap, right? But think about it. The crochet needle goes in, basically picks up a random spot of hair and pulls it out. You don't know if that hair is coming from over here and then pulled out over here or from here and pulled out over here. It could be anywhere. We don't know. You don't know either? I don't know either. And that is scary. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see, but I'm ready. I think I'll go wash this off. I'm glad she used saran wrap. That way she can keep the heat in. I think I ruined my hair. Oh, fuck. The <gasps> Look at these lines. Absolutely not. I have dark dye. I'm going to apply it to my roots. That was like the worst case scenario. It was like orange and there was bleeding all over the scalp. I'm so sorry that happened to you. That sucks. I'm glad that she's going in with a root shadow now because that was a scary sight. I hope this root shadow is dark enough to cover up those spots. <sighs> so I'm in the middle of root retouching. I'm doing some chatan brown uh, root touch up to blend because I very quickly as they put the blue black here which covered those spots because I panicked from them but the blue black is 
too bright and I want it to blend it to brown to blonde so that it's not like too bad to accept. Putting black over highlights is gonna make them look hollow and lifeless and also it's gonna be such a harsh transition from black to blonde. So I'm glad she's doing something in between to kind of smooth it out. Otherwise it would have looked really wacky. Finished root shadowing, I don't know. Ooh, this looks kind of cute. Right now. Okay. 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 Bye, 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 bye. I can tell that it looks blended and my hair will come out better. I can feel the stress through the screen. Like I am feeling everything you're feeling right now, Angie. Girl, let's breathe. <sighs> It'll all be okay. We can fix it. The highlights just are higher, so my hair blendability. Crap highlights, I would have maybe teased my hair before putting it on so that it heightens my hair a little bit from the roots so that it already creates that shadow effect on the roots. Uh, so this is like the biggest mistake I've done was letting the color bleed. The second mistake I've done was to go right away ham with the black. Although I'm not mad at it, maybe if I've started with the brown, it would have looked nicer. But I am not regretting it. I wanted to do this. I take responsibility for this. At least she knows what she did wrong and we're learning. Plus, she doesn't regret it, which I think it's great to not regret things in life, you know? Let's see these results. Hopefully, it's a little better. Okay, so I wanted to update you. I've done- Oh! Shading. So I still have them going on the highlights. I've went from very black, which as I told you, was an impulse I've done, and then I faded it to medium brown, and then it goes to a uh, blondish hair color. I toned it a bit, but it needs a little bit more toning. Okay, from that fiasco that happened to her hair to this, I am extremely, extremely happy. This looks so much better. Her hair actually looks really good. It blended well the back of my hair hair. Before I had the ombre, then right away, like there was a blend, but it wasn't such a smooth blend like now. Now it has a little bit of more interest. And I think when my hair grows out as well, a little bit, it's going to look even better. I think she did a great job at fixing her issue. Let's not get into that problem the next time. You know, I'm glad we learned from it and I'm glad the results were cool and good and nice and pretty, but you really scared the out of me for a second. You really did, Angie. You really got me on that one. Like, I don't even know you. What are you trying to get, what, 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 trying to get me back for something? Like, what did I do? Up next, we have a video by Eugene's Life, and this is called Bleaching My Hair with a Highlighting Cap. Hi, Brad Mondo. Y'all really be saying hi to me in these cap highlighting huh? What is that about? You know that I don't like them or something? You know that I'm scared of cap highlighting? Besides that one time that I did it on a mannequin, it came out good. Hi, Brad Mondo. Hey. I'm gonna bleach my hair today. Good luck. I want highlights. Okay. So I got this highlighting cap. I've seen a lot of successes with this. So it comes with this hook and you put this hair cap on. Where have you seen the successes? Where have you seen them? Where have you seen the successes? I wanna know what, where the f is in the way you're raising that. What are you why are you seeing the successes? I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of successes with cap highlighting. And I'm gonna be honest, I've been around the block a few times and I haven't had one jump but. You know? And then you pull out hair pieces from these holes. Because it's kind of hard to do right now. I'm just gonna take it off. What are we doing? We're already off to a bad start. Please do not rip it out. The plastic is there so the <laughs> seep through the holes. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you put that disclaimer in here, but don't you think the plastic was there for a reason? Come on, they didn't just like accidentally put a piece of plastic on it. She's gonna get bleeding, isn't she? That was a bad idea. I think you're supposed to do where the circles are, I think. I don't know for sure. We could probably read the directions. We could, or not. I think you're gonna go with the second choice. What do you want from me? You want to watch the videos with me? Okay, so we're definitely not taking enough hair out. <laughs> this is painful to watch. I'm gonna guess this doesn't turn out well at all. The way she's just blindly pulling these hairs out. How are people doing the back of their heads? How do you know that you're pulling out the right hole and you're pulling out the same holes on the same side that way it's even on both sides. Like, I, this is all confusing to me and I can't wrap my head around it or I don't know how they had the patience to do this. This is wild, crazy, and not cool at all. Since it's mirrored, when I try to go forward, it's backwards in the mirror. And it's so hard. I'm stressed out. <laughs> I'm like sweating. Do you see that? Do you guys see that like white things right here? That's humidity right there. This is like a torture device. Oh, it's time for the bleaching process. The hair, and now I'm going to make the bleach. Please help her, 
I don't know what kind of lightener she's using, what developer, I don't know what's going on, so no thoughts on that. Brad Mondo always explains that you should never start at the top because this is where your hair is like the warmest. So it gets bleached really quickly compared to the bottom. I'm gonna be doing the bottoms first. That is right. However, in this situation, you are wearing a cap that is blocking most of the heat from your scalp. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. I don't think your roots are gonna process faster than your ends. However, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's not gonna make anything better, but yeah. I mean, it might make it a little more annoying. I do appreciate that she has a comb on this brush and she is combing it through. I would definitely recommend that. If you're ever gonna attempt this, comb the lightener through because otherwise I don't see how you're gonna get on every single strand or how you're gonna make sure it's distributed evenly upon all the strands. However, I don't think that's your worst worry because at the end of the day, this is just a bad idea in general. This girl's about to have the most stripy highlights ever. 30 minutes on the clock. Mm, okay. That's orange. Ugh. Okay, so my hair is fully dry and I think I'm going to bleach it with the Kylie Jenner Black because for this box right now it's like kind of in the middle between these two but i want a purple shade <laughs> i gotta go lighter things just went from bad to worse to worsest because she just pulled out a gray box dye oh oh you guys ugh, at least she's gonna tone it with something that has a lot of purple in it so and blue so it'll hopefully help correct this orange situation she has going on right now but she's gonna lighten it again which scares me because again this is a cap and um she's gonna have stripes i'm gonna bleach it one more time. And I pray that it's not gonna fry off. All right, well, here we go. We're doing it again, and again, and again. <laughs> And again, well, I did think she needs another bleach, honestly. Like it was pretty orange, but I don't know. I think she should have toned it a deeper color because at the end of the day, this gray, it's gonna be, I don't know. It could be fine. I don't know, I'm undecided what it's gonna look like. Okay, it looks about the same, but we'll see. And does it fall off? We may not know yet. I think it got lighter. Not really, that really did nothing. Brad Mondo, I'm sorry, I'm not using toner, but I really like this color. I'm hoping it turns out Violety. Okay, so it is permanent color. I don't know how this works. How is it going to make somebody's hair gray? I mean, she just mixed developer in there, so I'm very confused. It looks brown. I wish she gave us the satisfying moment when the blonde comes out of the cap. Why did you do that to us? Don't get the satisfying moment of you taking the cap off. I waited this entire time. I don't even get to see that. Well, I guess it's still a little satisfying. All those strings. I am happy that she's doing a very dark color because otherwise I just don't think it would have been like, okay. It would have been scary. I just took a shower. Oh. It looks like there's no difference. <sighs> I see the highlights. <laughs> because it's night time but i don't think they turn silver like i wanted it to it looks the same it's the next day and here is my hair during the day very light it did not turn violet or silver the way i wanted it to but i'm satisfied well i'm glad you're satisfied because i'm sure not i'm actually so unsatisfied <laughs> That was a mess. <laughs> Next time you need to lighten your hair more. In order for gray to show up on hair, your hair needs to be basically as light as possible. Like a pale yellow. I don't really get the gray highlight thing. I would rather your whole head just be gray or like an ombre gray. Something like that would be cooler to me. Your hair could have turned out a lot worse. It could have looked way, way worse. And the scary part is too, is that these, these highlights are gonna lighten up as you wash your hair. And once that color comes off. So good luck with that. Don't do it next time. That's the only advice I have for you. I mean, you look cute. What happened with that permanent color toner is that it sucked up all that purple and blue in it and the hair was orange. So it kind of just like neutralized the orange and turned it into this like neutral blonde color. It didn't work and I'm sorry for that. Well, that was um, interesting and horrifying and I don't want to see that again. I really don't like cap highlighting. So don't try it yourself. Thank you. And it like never comes out good. So cap highlighting. <clears throat> if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Here you go. Also click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. You can also follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. Great. If you would like to text me, here's my number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. It'll also keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you guys like to check out my hair care and my color line and get the color I'm wearing today, which is super red and super orange mixed together, you can do so at XMoto 
xmodohair.com. It is linked below for you. You can also check out some hair inspiration on our Instagram, at xmodohair for hair care and xmodocolor for color. If you'd like to check out my merch, you can do so. Here it is. It's so damn cute. I wear it every day in my life and it's so comfy. Oh, I literally live in it. You can check it out with a link below or at xmodohair.com. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Alina and this says, hi Brad. If you have some hair color styling advice for me, I'd be super happy to know. Well, I'm always have advice for everybody. Gorgeous. I love the color. I love this coppery color on you. I think if you even enhanced this copper color and did like a super, super duper copper, I would really like that with your skin tone and your makeup, as well as doing a maybe less severe side part. I would really like to see that. But I love the layering you have going on and I love the look and you are so gorgeous. Do what you're doing, but amp it up. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.